Ladies and gentlemen, we did it again. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks with none other than Mr. Bishop from Paleface and Co. And today we are here to tell you about another project that we absolutely fucking destroyed like we always do because that's what we do. And we are really, really excited about this one. So I'm going to let my co host take it away because I merely negotiated this deal and he made it happen. Well, it was kind of funny because we were going over um, guests that we would love to have at the festival and we were talking about new theatrical bands and uh, Imperial Triumphant had popped up and I had texted you something about it and you were like, dude, you know who that is? And I was like, yeah, dude, I'm a sucker for, I'm a sucker for some of that shit for sure. And it's funny because that started a whole snowball thing where people started contacting people and everyone started making friends. And um, here we are today. I uh, am extremely happy with the way this thing came out. I think that we've done a lot of different projects and we do kill all of them. But for some reason, dude, this one had its own legs for sure. Mm -hmm. I was visiting our friend Joshua Everett's player and pimp of the world. We were actually doing something completely different and uh, we took the minimal amount of dead time that we had during that thing to just completely throw this whole thing together. You didn't even know like about the website and like all of these things because mm -mm. they developed in a night. Mm -hmm. We were literally just in a night. I had Anthony Rivera over there, photography. We were doing the devil's real shit. We were doing all in a night. All of that happened. I went to Walmart, bought a little bullshit Chromebook in a night. And I probably literally was just here jerking off. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's important. You, you got you to gotta make self-time sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I was not doing that. No, you were not. Neither was Josh. No. We promise. For sure. It wasn't happening. Seriously. Definitely not. No way. Anyways, what we did produce was something that... You guys have had a sneak peek at, but you've only had a sneak peek at the uh, most crudest form of it, which was already super beautiful, quite breathtaking, and a little astonishing. The fact that we're able to pull from this just home run hit of artists, people like Trash Bag Ghost, quickly from the time that we said, hey guys, we need these photos of this thing and this thing. And that for maybe two or three days later had us rocking and rolling. So sick. So not only do uh, I want to shout out Trash Bag Ghost and Joshua Everett's, a little bit of the Devil's Real, of course, House of Masks for always uh, coming through in the clutch on deals that are just, they just make sense. They just make sense. They really do. And listen. We've done a lot of stuff with a lot of theatrical bands, but releasing this product, I'm absolutely the most excited about because I think that this was like an amalgamation of all the projects that we've done so far coming to its most perfect form. Yeah. So not only is the band perfect for this item, but the item is perfect for the band and we've had practice now. So we're really starting to get good at what we do. If you guys thought that we were good a year and a half ago, this is going to blow some minds. I'm really stoked. I, I, must, I must say, dude, it is like the whole cliche thing, like wine. You know, as, as we keep doing this, these projects, not only um, they get a lot easier, they also just get a lot better. And everybody knows their spot and their purpose. And it just is very exciting. So let's show you guys what we got going on. Grab it. What in the world are we even talking about here? Dude. It's going to be hard to show it off the way it's supposed to be shown off because of how dope it is. It's so shiny and pretty. <laughs> yeah, it it's is. so good. <laughs> yeah, it is. What we have here is the Mask of Mercury. <laughs> Four.
Imperial Triumphant. Oh my god, this thing is so sick. And guess what? I get to keep this one. <laughs> that's his. Woo! Yeah. All right, that's let's his. run it. Let's run it. Man, I'll tell you what, from the very beginning when we started talking to these people, they had a vision and the vision was very easily put down on paper and given to one of the one of my favorite artists to work with, of course, Trash Bag Ghost. He was able to conceptualize the entire box, which actually in return helped me and Josh conceptualize the mask itself. This is something that was a, a rolling organism from the start. They had originally contacted us to make a fan mask, maybe do some work for them. They had talked about doing something with um, interchangeable crowns and stuff like that. At the very beginning, we told them the thing that had interchangeable crowns would not be able to be something that was a super cool, limited thing. We told them that would have to be something that was different and all of these other things. But at the end of the day, me and Josh sat back and we conceptualized this perfect thing that not only hit it for the fans, but also hit it for the collectors, and also gave us the beautiful opportunity to come back at a later point and maybe provide you guys with some different crowns with different aesthetics to them. I can tell you this thing right here is absolutely incredible. Shout out to Zach at Gator Packaging. These guys are absolutely insane. The way this thing is, is... You gotta keep showing off the box. Yeah, absolutely. The box I'm all is the like way with it. The coolest thing. Yeah, the box is super cool. Um, this thing right here stands alone. Like, even if you do decide that you are going to take it out of the box, this thing right here, you take it out of the box, you have the mask in your collection. This thing is immaculate still. Just the empty a work box of art. Just still sitting there on your shelf looking as good as can be, dude. I am super excited about this for that reason because I'm always torn between, man, I, I don't wanna open this. I want it to stay the way it is, but I also wanna wear it and I wanna take it out and I wanna play with it. That's what she said. <laughs> so this is a perfect way to achieve both things quick. Oh. This is a perfect way to achieve both things quickly. It's absolutely beautiful, one of my favorite things. And then on to the mask, dude. This thing is really, really cool. This is actually all gold leafed, exactly like the band's mask. We had tried a lot of different paint jobs to get the effect that we needed to get, and we just weren't able to knock it out. It had to be gold leafed. So we just went ahead and we did it the best way. We gold leafed it, sealed it, we did the washes, a lot of the inscriptions in there. This is basically the band mask for the fans, AKA fan mask. Mm -hmm. This thing is super cool by itself. By itself, it's already cool. It already has that weird eyes wide shut vibe that you would all get from these weird creepy encounters. And that's cool just how it is, right? But in the back of the box, you'll see that it comes with its own crown. And this crown is easy to place in this quickly. Me and Josh came up with a way that makes the crown click into the mask like a buckle. It's, it's, it's a really cool thing. So you just take the crown, you shove it down in there, it'll click in there, you'll hear it. Now you have yourself something even cooler. I've gotta say, not only do you look imperial, but you look triumphant right now. Dude, I'm telling you, it's everything you could ever want in a mask. It really is perfect. They gave <laughs> us such a good idea of what to do, and their look is so unique to themselves anyways that we just got, like, the perfect androgynous 1930s futuristic it's just uh, it's just a beautiful thing. I'm really excited and happy with how this whole thing turned out. Absolutely. You got the cool buck the copper buckles, the tattered and torn straps. Everything about this thing is just really really cool. Um, the fact that it is a limited thing makes it cool. The fact that you can purchase it at maskofmercury.com makes it even cooler. Right now, pre-orders are open, and I will tell you that there's not many left. Mm -hmm. We had originally just had it released with the release of the re-release of the record, and I'll tell you what, they absolutely killed their release. Yeah. 
So if you guys are a fan of anybody in this project, um, a House of Masks fan, a Trash Bag Ghost fan, a Joshua Everett's fan, a Pale Face and Co. fan, an Imperial Triumphant fan, then this is something you have to grab. There is no other way around it. This yep. is something you need. Like I said, dude, it opens up such a cool opportunity later on so that we can grab different crowns and interchangeable things. This is something that we build off of, and I really do feel like you guys will enjoy this. Yeah, by the time this video comes out and you are seeing it, there's a good chance that they are actively selling again and again. These only came out as limited edition pieces for the Vio Luxury re-release, so a lot of them are gone. And the ones that are left are going to go quick because now the news is out. It's yeah. House of Masks. It's yeah. Pale Face. It's Trash Bag. And most importantly, it's Imperial Triumphant. So we're all killing it. We're all involved. Anybody that likes that stuff is going to grab one. And then they are gone. Yeah. So go get one. I'll obviously link the correct website down below. You guys can go scoop yours up. I'm telling you guys. They're not going to last, and even if you're like, you know what, I don't know anything about Imperial Triumphant. If you want your friends to keep doing cool stuff with these people, making these connections, being able to do stuff like this, and really just kind of monopolize the theatrical music game, then uh, you need to go support stuff like this. So, that's all I got to say. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Man, thank you guys. Appreciate you. That was a stupid goodbye. We got to give them a better goodbye than that. <laughs> Why are, we, why are we so bad at this? How many videos do we have to shoot together before? <laughs> I'm leaving all this in, too. Anyways. Thank you. On behalf of the House of Masks, Pale Face, Trash Bag, Joshua Everett, The Devil's Real, and Imperial Triumphant, thank you guys very, very much for watching. We hope that you guys are stoked about this as we are. Again, the link to the website will be down below. You guys can go grab one, and that is going to do it for today's video. So, until next time, this has been AJ Good and... Bishop Walker telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to the mask of mercury and we will see you guys in the next one.